looking at the bids for the Alden Place Trailhead. We have eight of them. And I do the easy job. And Mr. Fiske volunteered to come along in case there's any technical questions. He'd be more than happy to answer them for Would us. you, for the sake of those in attendance, uh, introduce yourselves? Yeah. I'm, I'm Dennis Firestone, purchasing agent. Uh, John Fiske with Lebanon County Planning Department. Thank you. John, I'm just opening a general idea of what this will encompass at the, at the trailhead. Yeah, for those of you who may not be familiar with the location, um, out Alden Place uh, off of Iron Master Road, just um, north of uh, 72, we have a location where working with um, Louis Hurst at Alden Place, uh, looking at the spot for a trailhead to help um, provide additional access for the trail. For some of you may remember when some of the construction work uh, to run the sewer line in for Alden Place, there was a sort of carve out where people would park and we realized that there was another need for a location for a, a trailhead for people to access the uh, trail. So uh, as part of the state's new program with a multimodal transportation fund grant, we had applied to PennDOT and received a uh, $90,000 uh, grant to go toward this improvement. And part, primarily what it's going to do is there was in-kind donation from Alden Place for the land to actually build the uh, park and ride and some additional in-kind contribution from uh, Louis Hurst to help facilitate this project. The 90000 that we have here will help to install gates, do some improvements to the uh, trail uh, where we get a lot of the, the foot traffic as a result of this um, location and uh, to add some other amenities at that spot. So it's basically an enhancement um, uh, for you know additional access to the trail. First one is low bar, $79,811. Construction master services, $81,729.50. For homes, $63,683. Woodland contractors, Sixty-two thousand five seventy-five. Orwis fifty-eight thousand five hundred eighty. Where is Lime Kiln? Well, it's it's a two one five area code. It says Lansdale, Reading. so it must be in that area. Okay. Flyway excavating sixty-two thousand seven oh seven. Kinsley construction seventy-eight thousand eight eighty-seven. And the last one is A. H. Moore. 68,770. Did we ever do business with uh, Barwis before? I know we had some bids in the past, but I don't know if they were ever awarded any bid. I don't recall okay. them ever actually doing any work thing for any of our trail projects, I remember. The, the uh, <coughs> request for a proposal, were you expecting the, that the 90,000 would be the bid? I think I think we wanted to make sure when we did the uh, improvements here that we also had some contingencies built in, especially given, I mean, there's been a lot of changes in um, costs associated with, you know, the drop in, in fuel prices. Mm -hmm. so I think that's mm -hmm. probably a, a win in our case. Certainly for the uh, MTF funds, uh, anything that was originally within the grant, I think, will be, um, you know, this will certainly cover it. I don't know if we'll be able to do any additional enhancements as part of that. Certainly, with it being the multimodal fund, there are different requirements than there are for other programs since this is a case-by-case -case, uh, award that the state does. 